This is an overview of the Blob Shapes widget for Elementor by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the Blob Shapes widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's a blob shape image. It crops your images into a blob shape. You can choose from six different types of presets over here and shape your blob any way you want. Let's go for this one, for example. And you can change the height to whatever height you want. The height field is responsive, so on tablet and on mobile, you can decide for a different height for your blob shape. This widget knows to adapt to any image automatically. So I can select any image I like and you see it shows it over here. I'll take you into the style tab to talk about why it's coloring it this way. So let's jump into style. And as you can see, we have a gradient set up over here. So you can choose any colors and you will see that the widget adapts automatically to the colors that you have chosen. You can also change the gradient angle, the gradient fade, fade offset, and the color offsets for color one and color two. Let's jump into the image section where we can talk about the image opacity. So the image right now is over the gradient. And if we want, we can push down the opacity to show more of the gradient and less of the image. If we push this all the way down, we won't see the image at all and we will be left with a gradient blob. Another way you can do this is jump into content and deselect the image. Let's choose a different image again just to see how nicely this crops this in an automatic way. So I'll choose maybe this image for example. Look how nicely this adapts. It doesn't matter what image you choose and what, what blob preset you choose it will adapt automatically and also the height reacts very, very nicely. We also have a link section, so you can decide to enable the link and then the whole blob shape will turn into a link. Over here in the image settings, the only thing that we didn't go over yet is the blend mode. Sometimes if you don't want to show the gradient behind the image, you can choose normal instead of a blend mode that was by default on overlay or multiply or something like that. And you will see that the different presets you choose here, you get very different effects. So you can play around with this and it also depends on your image color. Awesome. So I'll just leave this at normal. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.